approach this topic. Uh-oh. Uh, a lot see. of people asked about Brennan Schaub, Karen. Uh, did you see what he posted? Do you have any thoughts? What do you think? <laughs> the Brennan Schaub is It's just silly. I mean, it's just, I can't even... Really, guy? Like, I can't, I, I, you, you have to so elaborate I, a little bit. I, Some, I, they I, might I, not I know. Even, I can't even, like... It's so if silly. If you want to explain what happened, or okay, yeah, so just give a quick explanation. Supposedly he was complaining that um, because uh, I was working the panel with Tyron and Eve, that uh, he's complaining that with their, everybody having a black panel up there, the Fox was just doing it to kind of check off some boxes and reach some racial quotas, mm. um, and that it really are those the best people for the job? Um, I mean, it's a silly thing to ask. Um, I will say yes, you have a champion in Tyron Woodley who clearly knows how to yeah. win at the game. You have Eve Edwards who has something like 65 fights. A true veteran. Um, who, you know, maybe every single sentence isn't flawless, but the dude knows what the F he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And as far as my own self, um, the um, uh, amount of experience I have anchoring shows Coupled I'll with say it for she's the best with, in the business at what she does. Coupled with my fight and coverage, like, I, yes, I actually do think I'm quite qualified. So. And for her resume, if you could say what she's never fought before, well, neither has every other news yeah, journalist. Yeah, exactly. John All the dudes Morgan, that don't have lady parts didn't fight either. Right, so, so yeah, she, everybody so, was very qualified. Um, if you want to... I think to, Whatever, I, dude. I'll on. just say my little piece on today. it. I, I, I wasn't aware of it until today, but I think it was just um, an observation that Brand, Brendan made, and I think he probably made just a bad judgment call in the way that the way that he set it up, the way they set it up, being like, oh, he's you not know, the most articulate guy. If you haven't noticed, I, but I think what it was, I think it was, you know, he just might not have had a personal preference to maybe everybody on the board, right. but the way that he set it up, he, he probably, I can see him coming out and apologizing but after, because is a good guy, but I don't think he, he said what he wanted to say the right way. Right, and the thing about it is, is to your point, you could have just said, I don't know if those three people work well together or something like that, but, yeah. but to no, say, that been better. That I don't know if those right three chocolate people work together well, like, do you know what I mean? Like, that wasn't a quote. It's because it didn't, right, it wasn't a quote. I'm being <laughs> nicer about it, but like, that's, that's the problem is because, in fact, this doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, if you just think somebody isn't good at their job, mm. it shouldn't depend upon their skin color, right? It's just that I don't think the dude on the right is good, or I don't yeah. think the chick is good, or whatever, like... So the fact to bring in the other stuff is what makes him look bad and weird in yeah. the situation. No, he because it's have. it's just it's just an unnecessary qualifier. It didn't even make it was the it's wrong just move. Like, why? If I remember right, right, didn't he audition once? Um, once. And you know that could have been it too. You know, Brandon's doing great right now. He has a successful career. Him and Fox or UFC didn't get along. Maybe there was a little bit of resentment, and that's kind of where that came from. And he and he uh, vocalized it the wrong way. But I, uh, when I was trying to figure out what was going on, when I saw people commenting on Twitter, I saw that his post was deleted. And I feel like <laughs> guilty. Yeah, he, he probably feels a little guilty. Probably maybe feels a little embarrassed. And I'm not speaking for him, but yeah. I just think maybe because I think I think I Brandon, I've met him a bunch of times. He's always been super cool to me. I've never s sensed any type of racist or anything like that about him. I think he just made a bad he just set it up the wrong way uh, I can see him coming out with an apology but I get where that would make you feel very it's uncomfortable an, and you and everybody else yeah there, like you know? the weird thing is it's like I always you know we always got along and stuff like that so I always thought you know we were cool or whatever so yeah. then when something like that kind of comes out of the blue you're like really dude so really that's really my 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 reaction is really dude yeah. But it's because to me it's actually so stupid um, and I completely know that my guys that I work with are qualified so that's just like mm, whatever was, yeah they are qualified I was really surprised um, when you mentioned it because he's always been very qualified. yeah that's what I'm saying so it, to, to me it came out of left field um, so uh, that's why I was like haven't responded on Twitter or whatever because I'm just sort of like uh, what like huh yeah. like whatever it is what it is and we've talked about it now more than I ever expected to talk about it because well, there was a lot of because it is that much of a whatever oh, really? like it is it's a whatever it's a whatever we brought it to the forefront it's a whatever here on MMA Heat. <laughs>